hey, this is November. That means it's time for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for what, huh? Right. What have we got to be thankful for? I mean, the world is always in a mess. What do you know? Nothing new about that. Fly away, bird. Hey, you got to be thankful for the little things. The things that we take for granted. Those are the things we can always be thankful for around this time of the year. Like here, for example. We don't have these two guys around anymore, right? They're ready to go out the window. Out the window. That's right, you two, out the window. Hey, how about coffee? Do you like coffee? I love coffee. I'm so thankful for coffee because I have it every morning. Two, three, four cups, whatever it is. Coffee and me, we're the best of friends. Coffee makes me sparkle. Take a look at my shoes if you want to see sparkle. Am I right? Yes, those are sparkly shoes. And let me show you my sparkly hat. I wear this because it reminds me of the fireworks. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, you know, what about golf? You know about golf, I'll tell you. I am thankful for golf for one reason alone because that was the sport that Tiger Woods thought that he could be good at. And you know something? He's fantastic. I love to watch that guy play golf. But you know something? He might not have been any good at any other sport, or half as good, let's say, if he was a pole vaulter, huh? Or maybe a, a marathon runner, or golly, what if Tiger Woods was a, was a hockey player? Can you imagine Tiger Woods being a hockey goalie? Me neither. So thanks, golf. Now, what about pills? Pills are good. Pills are medication. Pills are for vitamins. Pills can make you sparkle. Now, I get my pills in a little bag. It comes in the mail. After I take out my pills, I've got the bag. And you know what? The bag is always good because I can put it on my head and I can walk around the house all day and pretend I'm a chef or a smart person like a wizard or maybe a whirling dervish. Hey, plastic bags are something to be thankful for. Whenever I use one up, Whatever's inside, I make a something that I can put on my head. Now this plastic bag is special because I've added the antenna. And you know why? Well, you know, I think that the aliens try to talk to me. They communicate with me. And that's why I have these antenna because it helps the connection between me and the aliens. Now, how about plaid? This is a very nice piece of plaid. Now, if you work for a living and you make clothes and you live in Scotland, wouldn't you be thankful for plaid? Of course you would, because a lot of people wear plaid over there. Now, because I am sort of a fashion expert, people every once in a while, they say, Tom, who's your favorite designer? And I say, hands down, American Apparel. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Isn't that classy? That's right. That's American Apparel. Most people rock. Hey, you know, speaking of things to be thankful for, how about the ball? I mean, you know that the ball was just admitted to the National Toy Hall of Fame in Rochester? I mean, it sure is about time. I mean, they've got the tricycle, they've got the, the jump rope, they've got a Mr. Potato Head, and they just put the ball in. Now, how many games, exercises, fun, and things like that you've been able to have for the ball? And all you have to do is ask your dog, ask your dog if he thinks the ball is something to be thankful. Manny, you like the ball, don't you? You like to chase it? Arf, arf. That's, a, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. You know... Let's see now, let's take this off. And speaking of things that should be in the National Toy Hall of Fame, how about the whoopee cushion? Has it, how many hours of fun have you had with a whoopee cushion in your life? Tons, I bet. What's better than one whoopee cushion? Two whoopee cushions. Okay, I've got another one in here. Two whoopee cushions. Oh boy, I'll tell you something. You know, I'd like to say just a couple of words about women's breasts. I don't want to be crass, I don't want to you know, be sexist, I don't want to be objectifying, but I would just like to say two words. Hooray. That's right. Every day when I wake up, every, every night when I go to sleep, I thank the powers that be for women's breasts. You know something? This is a fantastic town to walk around. You see women's breasts. Uh, you don't always see this much of the woman's breasts, but a woman walk down the street, and you look at her, and she passes, and you say, or you're sitting on the subway or something like that, and the woman's on the other side, and you wait for her to get off, and she gets off, and you're like, I'll tell you something. 
I, uh, I was watching uh, some of the porn sites the other day. I was kind of just cruising the porn sites, and, and I saw this woman, and she was sitting on a couch, and she had enormous breasts. She was a young woman, about 19 or 20. She had short black hair, real cute. She was nice, and she laughed. She had a good laugh. And the man was asking her questions, and she was kind of fondling her uh, breasts at the same time, her kind of dark, haunting nipples. She would pinch them, she would squeeze them together. And he said to her, do you like your breasts? And she said, sure, what's not to like? And then she said, but, you know, a lot of other people, they like them too. And then she laughed. Well, that was so sweet. That was so nice. You know, that video lasted 43 minutes, and I watched every minute of it. That was pure art. Now, that's the way it is here in the town that we live in. We can go outside and everything is beauty. There's a bounty of beauty. Everything is art. There's art everywhere you look. There are the trees. There are the birds in the trees. There are the leaves. The leaves are changing now. There's a lot of yellow leaves, just like our backdrop. Yellow leaves, beautiful. There's the park. There's people. There's skateboarders. There's all sorts of things to look and to enjoy and to, to, to have fun with and, and, and appreciate and be thankful for, especially the flowers. I love the flowers. I know it's just a cardboard flower, but it is a flower. Now, you know something? I told you the aliens speak to me, and they do. And one day, they were talking to me. I was out there, and they were saying, Tom, you know, we love your planet. It's so much prettier than ours. That's why we come here so often. We look out of our spaceship window, and what do we see? We see buildings. We see cabs. We see cars going this way, cars going that way. We see people all over the place. We see lights. We see vendors, we see hot dog stands, we see people selling groceries, we see people selling fruit and everything. This is a fantastic place, we love it here. You know what I said to the aliens? You're right, you're so right, I love it too for the same reason. It's beautiful out there, all you have to do is walk down the street. In fact, you don't even have to walk. All you have to do is just look out your window. Come on, go look out your window. <laughs>